Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Rob Jr. and this is my channel Creative Rob and today we're doing an oil painting portrait on Kid Cudi. Thanks for tuning in. To start off, um, what I like to do is sketch out uh, the image and I like to make it as detailed as possible um, and my method for doing this is, um, you know, as you can see, looking at that, it does not look like your typical sketch. And that's because what I have done is I've put this in Photoshop and broke down the colors into about six, um, six colors. And, um, and, and the reason I do that is uh, it just makes it a little easier for me. It speeds up the process. Uh, um, and, you know, like I've said in the past, it's just a little uh, less information for me to, to juggle with. So, um, and once, so it's, it's mapped out for me. And once, um, I have all this filled in. I go in with a blender brush and um, smooth it out, uh, and it ends up looking pretty nice. So um, I normally, as you can see, I start with the dark, the darkest color first, and just go down the spectrum of colors from dark to lightest. And this is number 11 in my palette knife uh, portrait series. And yeah, I'm not using a palette knife right now. So what I do is I'll, I'll paint this out with a brush first and get it to a certain point. And once it reaches that point, that's uh, when I bring the palette knife out and I'll, I'll start scraping it and um, kind of dirtying it up a little bit. Giving it some texture, some style. Uh, anyway, so that's what I'm doing with the palette knife. I also go in, after I do all the scratches and stuff, I go into the background. I put in the background with a palette knife, so. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Kid Cudi is, which that's hard to believe, I'm sure. I'm sure anyone watching this right now knows who Kid Cudi is. He is an American rapper. Uh, let's see. The first, uh, I was introduced to him with the song, uh, is it Day and Night? Um, that's a really good one. The Pursuit of Happiness, uh, another really good one. Um, I, I just really like this guy. I like his style. Um, his lyrics are very meaningful and real. People can relate to him. Um, seems very down to earth. Um, yeah, he seems like a good guy. I, he does some acting too. So, yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons I decided to paint Kid Cudi. He's one of my, my favorite uh, musicians. Along with the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. So here I went from black to a dark purple to a brown. Now I'm using a lighter brown. Oh yeah, um, Kid Cudi was also on TED Talks. Now his real name is Scott. 
I, I don't remember what his uh, full name is, but his first name is Scott. Um, and he was on TED Talks. And I thought he did a great job. Um, he's very inspiring. He's an inspiring guy. But, um, yeah, the TED Talks was really good. Um, if you're a fan of Kid Cudi and you watch that, you'll end up just liking him more. Or if you were going through YouTube and, and uh, somehow landed on that video, uh, if you didn't know who he was, you would end up liking him and wanting to hear his music. has a, a very unique style you can always tell um, his songs you can always tell it's him photo reference he was wearing a red baseball cap <clears throat> you know the, the funny thing about painting is you know especially dealing with this red cap you know a lot of people who don't paint will be like well, let's just get the two of red paint and paint that red hat there's so many colors within that spectrum of red. You know, it goes from dark red to light red, but the darkest part of the red can seem black, kind of turn to purple. Uh, so there's so many colors. There's so many colors in a solid color. You have light shining down on it. Uh, yeah, it's a solid red, um, but because of the way light acts uh, and the way the shadows hit it, it's it's really a lot of different colors in that spectrum of red. with the skin tone well actually your skin can be a variety of different colors with especially with you know if you think about emotions and uh, the way your, your cheeks can get flushed up when you get embarrassed or mad so the skin it's not a good example but solid things like uh, material like the hat uh, can be a lot of different colors even though it's, it's one solid color um, but with the way the light hits it and the shadows react it, it's a multitude of colors to his lips I didn't put a whole lot of detail in his lips uh, I actually did um, spend a lot more time detailing this out than normal um, I don't know why just ended up that way um, I don't worry about how realistic it looks. I'm just, if you guys, I'm sorry if you guys have been following along this here. I know I say it every time, but I, I gotta keep saying it for for some of the new people watching. Um, I'm not so concerned about how realistic this looks. I, uh, I want there to be. Uh, I want it to 
to look like them, but I'm not concerned about it being realistic. I want it to be, um, have a painterly style. So, with that being said, another reason I, I'm not too concerned is um, I'm going on top of this and making scratches and scrapes um, with the palette knife. So, but yeah, I, I really love the way this one turned out. Um, I think it fits. Kid Cuddy's artistic style um, complements him well. That's just me. You know, I painted it, so I don't know. He's a cool guy. It's a cool painting. Maybe he'll see it. Want to buy it? to paint realistic uh, but after doing this and spending a little bit of time um, it made me curious uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of that fever to do something realistic I want it to be small and, some, and it's going to have to be something that takes weeks because what I'm doing here is using the Ala Prima style, so it's, you know, it's wet on wet, it's done in all in one sitting. So the, the way I do realistic um, the paint will have to dry, and it's going to be in layers, so, okay, you know, it kind of sounds fun. But this, this series I'm working on... Um, just feels really good right now, so, um, it's something I'm going to keep doing for a long time, but as I said in the past, um, it's always good to paint realistic and, and use that practice, it, it does nothing but enhance your future paintings uh, you're gonna make different choices because of your your skill is just gonna be sharper um, and because of that time all that time painting you're gonna make better choices because you're gonna have more choices you know you got this arsenal up here full of ideas because of all the time you've spent studying painting and when I when I say study and there's a lot of different ways to study um, studying uh, still life doing portraits seeing how realistic you can make something sometimes it's, it's not a lot of fun but if it's something you're working over or, you know weeks um, and you're not spending so like all day on it maybe it's not too bad <laughs> I just you know I've said this before I, I'm not a printer you know um, it's fun to see how realistic you can make something but there's no emotion in it you know it really helps it it really helps you get better so I'm, I'm not downing it at all matter of fact like I said I'm, I'm gonna start on something I might do something like a close-up of an eye see how realistic I can get that that's something I've struggled with in the past and mainly because I I haven't spent the time I haven't studied it so Here I am, I got one of my palette knives and I'm dipping it in the white and adding some, um, some highlights. I'm 
Now see, I could have pushed this further and further and further and got this very realistic. Um, but I, I, maybe that would have been cool. I don't know. I'm just not into it right now. So now uh, here I am filling in the background with the palette knife. And now I'm going to clean the knife and start with a, with a clean knife. I'm going to start scraping. Um, after I put in this white, I'm going to start scraping. I'm, I'm making scratches. I'm bringing in that wet paint into his face and his hat. I'm bringing the paint outside of his face into the, the background. Here I'm just kind of adding some abstract style to it. You know, red uh, symbolizes passion, um, and courage. I feel like uh, you know that represents Kit Cutty well. And uh, I felt like it was missing something, um, sort of that creativeness, that creative energy he has that's so different than others, and that's why I added this. Uh, like almost lime green or fluorescent green. I thought, thought it was a nice touch. <laughs> this is the fun part of the painting. This is a lot of fun. And uh, there I signed it and I, I'm signing with a uh, scraper tool. Well, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this painting. Uh, I hope you guys like Kid Cuddy. He's a great guy. Uh, there's my signature, Rob Jr. Uh, this is Creative Rob. If you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.